Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Guys, I think EA is so focused on FC 25 that is only a few weeks away that they forgot about footies and FC 24. We have missing players once again, and we have players that were missing that are now in the game. Not to mention that we have a pack SBC that should have dropped yesterday, now in the code that seems like EA forgot that yesterday as well. Kind of a comedic day from EA with all the mistakes that they made and I want to talk about investing as well because yesterday and even right now is a good time to look into those team of the season cards once again their prices have dropped I've invested almost 2 million coins we're here for another week of profits because we all need those cards for SBCs a lot to talk about today and maybe a little bit about footies team 3 at the end we'll talk more if you're excited for it drop a thumbs up and of course subscribe if you are new so let's get into that content from yesterday first starting with the SBC section the best SBC yesterday was one that was already out in the game and that refreshed and the only SBC that was brand new was this Raheem Sterling guys from the gulag he is back Raheem Sterling was missing of course was added to footbin was in concepts on Friday with the drop of footies team 2 finally in the game and obtainable it's not really all that though it's kind of once again one of those SBCs like Openda or like other ones like Loftus Cheek that we had last week that's just kind of mid unless you're a Chelsea fan or you're English and you really have an affinity towards this card or maybe you remember using an earlier version of Sterling this year this one is probably one that most people will pass on to be completely honest he's got technical plus press proven quick step trickster he's five star four star which is not bad the stats are also not bad he can play on the left right wing and at striker he does have a little bit of a lack in the composure stat category and also the strength and aggression which is normal for a Sterling type card and again three squads 87 88 in the 89 brings him to a grand total of 184,000 coins so a little pricey even if you compare him to like a card of Openda's value from his SBC two days ago so for me this sterling is really not that likable you can see on the SBC itself it's downvoted mostly for the price and of course for the card itself not being that meta it's not that big ticket SBC that a lot of us are of course wanting and hoping to see on this game but it is kind of a fun one if you want to get it done go ahead and do it I bet his left stick dribbling is pretty fun and of course Sterling is a very popular player a lot of Chelsea fans a lot of English fans out there so if you want to get it done by all means go ahead and do so kind of funny though still because on a day that he comes back into the game we're missing another player and if you're looking at footbin you're probably going to see this guy Bastian Schweinsteiger guys he is just like Sterling and Carvalho from last Friday of footies team two he's in the game he's in the code and he's nowhere to be obtained. That's the problem. He's not in objectives. He's not in SBCs. He is missing. What's funny is he was leaked before content. He's in concepts right now, but he's not actually in the game. How is this happening three times in the past week? Again, with Sterling, with Carvalho, and now with Schweinsteiger. It's kind of wild, to be honest. It really does feel like EA are kind of, I guess, maybe forgetting about a few things in FC24 while they're probably focusing a lot of their efforts on 25. But these mistakes are starting to rack up, especially with this sort of like content mistakes too. There's another one that we're going to talk about here in a little bit. Now, whenever this SP or whatever it is, objective SPC, whatever it drops for the Schweinsteiger, is it really worth doing? It seems like also a Sterling or maybe a better comparison would be like Robin Van Persie, right? It's not a position change for Schweinsteiger, but Robin Van Persie was like, what, 200 something thousand coins. He was pretty cheap to do. This card can't be any more than that either because I don't know if I would put this card into my team. I already have a Tony Cruz card. A lot of us have a Tony Cruz end of an era that is better than the Schweinsteiger. But of course, it is Schweinsteiger. He hasn't had a special in a while. So if this is an emotional one for you, it is. Again, that's the best thing about footies is getting so many cards, SBCs every single day. If one of these strikes a chord with you, it's an emotional player for you. Maybe one of your favorite past players for an icon or a hero for a lot of these guys. Go ahead and do the SBC. Get it in your team. Pinged pass, intercept, long ball, and power shot plus. Hopefully, it's like the uh, same thing as Von Persie. Maybe six, seven, eight squads. Pretty easy to get done. And just a fun SBC. But it's not really that amazing. Again, I think we're going to have to wait till tomorrow and Friday to get that big ticket SBC that a lot of us are really hoping for. Now, that's the SBC content. Let's go to objectives really fast because we did have another objective player. Kristen Hamilton. And when I saw this yesterday, I had no idea what was going on here. 
but it just clocked a little bit ago, especially with the help of some of these tweets on Twitter, making sense. I'm not an F1 fan. I know a lot of you guys might be. I've never really watched it, but we knew there was going to be another objective player, probably with the play on words, right? Last year, we had the Ferrari. We had the Lynx. We just had Target, right? And of course, we have Hamilton with 99 pace, of course, in reference to Lewis Hamilton. So this card, medium low work rates, five star, four star. It's just banter. It's basically free 94 rated fodder. Or if you're an NWSL collector, that'd be a nice card for you there. Um, it does, you know, require a few games, win four matches with three USA players. So you kind of have to make a kind of um, an effort to get that objective done. But that was dropped yesterday as well. That was kind of the only other content in the game yesterday that was brand new. Now, like I said, the best content yesterday was SBCs that actually refreshed. And the best one was the icon player pick. The same icon player pick that came out on Sunday refreshed again yesterday. I've already done it twice. I was lucky enough. I got a very good pull from this one. Ribery footies was a pull of mine yesterday, but the weight, guys, maybe you saw my tweet yesterday saying that the weight was really, really bad. It just seemed like every time we were opening one of these on stream, it was like either one, two, or even all three of the icons that were coming out of this player pick. Since we've had good, great to the game icons in player picks for a while, were duplicates. It was the same like five to 10 cards over and over and over, all the fodder ones that most of us already own. But still, it's worth doing for the chance at something insane. And of course, a lot of people were doing those yesterday. So that was fun. I already did my two. I'm waiting for this to refresh again on Saturday so that we can do two more uh, before we hopefully get a better one or a new one coming on Sunday. Now, of course, when we're talking refreshes as well. We know about Wednesdays, right? We talk about this 90 plus tradable tots upgrade dropped again, as did the 81 plus tradable team of the week. So, of course, we have to take a look at our favorite team of the season player, Dewsbury Hall, and look at these tots prices because we are investing. Thing once again, 30,000 coins. The drop yesterday was actually, as I expected, it was more than I thought we were actually going to see. These guys went from 40,000 coins plus all the way down to the low 30s, lower than last week, right? Last week, they only went to 34K and they went up to 45 as a peak, which is kind of as we called it. And right now, TOTS cards are even lower than they were last week at like 30,000 coins flat or just above that. Sitting on the market at 31,000 coins. Guys, I do believe this is still a good investment because EA are going to continue to require these cards. And the biggest thing about this this week is nothing is changing. The TOTS cards that are in packs right now in the best of batch number two, they are going to stay in packs for another week. No new cards are going to be added to packs unless EA pulls off something crazy. Because again, the cards that are in packs for the re-release are going to stay in packs for this next week, right? That means your team of the Ronaldo, team of the season Messi, Pele, Olmo, all those players, Neymar, in packs for a whole nother week, which will sh actually allow us to buy some team of the season cards that we know probably as better investments that are not the ones that are re-released in packs. But in my opinion, TOTS cards are a good investment. Regular TOTS are 30,000 coins. If you want to go a little bit of a cheaper route, I believe TOTS moments are in the low 20s, 22, 23K for the cheapest version of any TOTS card on the game. That's awesome. 22K for these is a good buy as well. Same thing for the team of the season plus cards. I think they're right around 22 to 23k as well. They are. Love this investment. Once again, I do believe that these cards, by the time we get to Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, will probably be for these TOTS pluses around 30, 30,000 coins plus, 35k maybe. And I do believe the regular TOTS cards should hopefully be getting to 40k. I don't think they're going to rise as much this week, guys, because a lot more people are investing um, and there's still a decent craft that is out there with a crafting upgrade. I think they may not go up again as high this week, but I still think they're a great investment. So if you want to get involved, you can absolutely do that. Now, I also had a few investments yesterday that were not the cheapest TOTS cards. I went for some of the more meta ones because we still have a weekend league requirement that is team of the season squad related. So I picked up some Parloellos, 48,000 coins, so Saliba's under 45. And I really went in a lot on a Raujo, like a low 50K range. I think 52 or 53K is the most that I paid for him. He was like 90,000 coins. So as you you can see here he's still in the 50s but for a lot of these cards i'm hoping that these go up even like into friday into saturday because people are going to use these for weekend league you might be like nate really yeah there's that objective in there that gives better packs and more packs for winning with a full tots team so that's kind of the cards that i went in on here's a graph of rafinha who i bought he was a hundred thousand coins he went all the way down to 50k where i was able to pick some up and uh, right now he's back up to 60. These prices should stay low until content today. Then they'll start to creep back up. So get in on some of those team of the season investments 
if you would like to. Don't overlook Team of the Weeks either, but I think Team of the Seasons are a little bit of a better investment at the moment. Now, really quick, I do want to cover some footies cards because I know some of you are looking to invest in these. The card that I see moving up the most right now is Lewandowski. Lewandowski is very rare, and I think that's one of the reasons why he is going up. I mean, this guy was literally 650,000 coins a couple days ago, and right now he is 800 or 790K. So he is going up, but a lot of the other footies cards are still kind of in the same realm. Even some of the icons that are from Team 2 as well. I did notice that uh, Benzema got really low. I think Benzema is a card that a lot of people may be interested in purchasing, depending on how things go with Team 3. Uh, this is a card that was just down at like 350. Yeah, he's still 350, 360. That's a bit low for him. He's got very meta playstyle pluses with the Finesse Plus. So, and also it's Benzema. So I'm interested in some of those footies cards. I think I'm going to keep with my TOTS investments and probably not invest in any of those right now. I know Team 1 did very good, though. I know some of you guys maybe want some of these for your team. Today would be the day to be watching those. Or maybe tomorrow at the content drop, you could see some of the footies cards from Team number 2 as they go out of packs drop. And then you can get an investment in then before they would potentially go up from there. We'll cover that a little bit more tomorrow. I'll be watching that on stream for sure. But let's talk today's content, right? Because uh, we got, we know, guys, we're headed towards Friday. Right now, the hype for Team 2 is going down. These cards are so tough to pack, which makes it maybe a little bit of an even better investment opportunity, if we're being completely honest. But I'm ready for Team 3 at this point. I really am. But it looks like we're going to get an SBC today on Thursday that was supposed to be dropped yesterday right because as we talked about in yesterday's video we should have been having another upgrade sbc right more of like a guaranteed pack type of upgrade sbc and we didn't get one yesterday well the pack code was just updated a few short hours ago to can include the pack that we probably were supposed to have yesterday a team of the tournament or footies team one or team two player guaranteed pack actually this sounds like a pretty nice pack, to be honest. Team of the Tournament cards, all four playstyle pluses, or almost all of them. Yeah, there's a lot of fodder in there, right? If you think of Team of the Tournaments, you're thinking of cards from Copa America that are fodder, like the Martinez, the Aramburu, Crepo, pack that guy crazy amount of times. But you've got Rafinha, Lautaro, of course, Messi, Vinny, Valverde. On the UEFA Euro side of things, you've got Musiala, you've got De Bruyne, you've got a crazy Jude Bellingham. These prices are still flying. It's crazy. Jude Bellingham's four mil. He's exploding. Bruno Fernandez is 400K. He was like 300 something, 280 a couple weeks ago. So these cards are really, really flying in price because they're some of the most meta cards in the game, if we're being completely honest. And it looks like we're going to have ourselves a chance to pack those, I would imagine, today. ASY Foot Trader, one of the leakers as well, posted this. He said this should have been released today, as I agree with him on that. And he said, so tomorrow it is. So he's expecting it to be dropped today on this game on a Thursday. So that's one thing we're going to watch out for specifically. But also, I've just noticed that a couple of these other packs have been added to the code equalizer foundations pack and a premium equalizer pack a 40 rare gold players pack and a 100 rare gold players pack those could actually be upgrade sbcs too and that would solve a lot of our problems right right now a lot of us complain about running out of rare golds especially if you're doing the 81 plus player pick which is not the better of the two player picks of course the 82 plus is better but it still is craftable if you're trying to have some fun in the game in the moment. This is still a player pick you could do if, of course, you have done the crafting upgrade already. I have to wonder um, if these two are going to come today. Maybe they do. Foundations pack makes me almost think that they could be in the store. Um, I really hope that they're not in the store because some of the other packs that are in here are always overpriced, kind of like the provisions packs. So, but it doesn't say provisions packs on it. It just says foundations packs. So um, these all say provisions. This one says equalizer, though. Again, that's why I'm a little confused. We'll have to see if these are in the store or if they are not. Now, the other thing is you can see the expiring date on these is one day, 13 hours. So these are going away on Friday at the content drop. These packs right here actually could be replacing what we have in the store right now on Friday. So they might not be today. These could potentially be store packs and not SBCs. I think I'm leaning towards that they're store packs, uh, but we'll have to see. The other pack that was added was some footies essentials pack. Pretty average pack there. It's an 82 times 15 with some loans inside of it. I don't know. That might be a store pack for a really cheap one there too, but nothing big has been added to the store besides that guaranteed team and tournament and 40s pack, which is what I wanted to mention. Now, regarding that pack, fodder today, do you need to invest? Well, fodder is actually up a little bit already. If you invested in 85s at any point yesterday, 2.2K minimum price, 
up to 4,000 coins. If you wanted to get on some bids today during Rivals Rewards, I would say get on 85s because they could jump up a little bit again today on Thursday. I mean, usually there's a bit of a dip with Rivals Rewards anyway, like 88 pop yesterday from 6.2 up to 7.8, almost 8,000 coins. And if you look back to last week on Thursday, Wednesday night into Thursday morning, there was a pretty significant drop on fodder and then it did bounce back up into the content time frame. So I think if you wanted to do a little bit of that, you could look at 85s to 88 on bid today and then sell them around the content drop for sure but i wouldn't be holding on to these too long because we're going to have new packs released on the weekend and um i think the fodder prices would drop like they did last weekend once again so player spc wise i mean hopefully it's shiny maybe we have two player spcs today whatever one was originally supposed to be dropped today and then schweinsteiger maybe ea adding him back into the game maybe it'll be carvalho and schweinsteiger today two of the missing players right that would be really, really interesting to see if that happens. Now, speaking of today being a Thursday and speaking of footies team two going out of packs and footies team three kind of entering in packs, I have some guesses on who might be in team three. It's not leaked yet. I just have a couple of guesses, guys, because you can kind of maybe tell, pick and choose and guess almost who EA is going to be picking for some of the 99 rated players that have not gotten a card maybe since team of the season that's kind of the criteria that i look for with a lot of these like saint maximin had a tots card benzema had a team of the season card uh actually no did benzema have a tots card that might be wrong but at least asm did and a lot of the cards that have gotten into footies have had a team of the season but they haven't had anything more recent than that i just have a hunch that we're going to be getting some leaks uh of players that are going to be in footies team three here pretty soon i know the leaks for the footies cards have not been coming until like the thursday or the friday morning before they're about to drop my guess is that we're going to get one of three of these cards as a 99 rated card coming tomorrow on friday hyunmin sun Mohamed Salah or Ginola. That's just my guess. One of those three might be a 99 or just in the footies promo team number three um, coming this Friday. So watch out for the leaks. That'll probably be confirmed. At least if it's not later today, then tomorrow morning on Friday. And the last thing I want to touch on with relating to FC25 is... If you're an Inter fan or a AC Milan fan, next year is going to be a little bit more frustrating because they are not going to be licensed in FC25. We had Napoli who is not licensed this last year. If you're a member, of course, this was the uh, example we used on stream yesterday. Osamin, of course, the dynamics for all the Napoli players. It was actual dynamics of them. They just didn't have the Napoli badge. They had, um, what was the name of the team? Napoli FC, right? And they had no crests of the club, no images, no um, badges or anything like that. It was just like the blank jerseys. Remember when, you know, we had Cristiano Ronaldo on Piemonte Calcio, which was Juve when they didn't have the Juve license, right? And it was white shirt Ronaldo. So that's sort of the thing I think we're going to be seeing this next year in FC 25 for Inter and Milan, which is actually a bit disappointing because those are two of the biggest clubs for sure. Of course, we didn't have uh, Napoli last year, which was a bummer, but not having AC Milan and Inter this year will definitely be a bummer for a lot of people if you're a fan of those clubs. But still, I mean, you're still going to have the player like in game and everything. The only thing that will be off is just the dynamic images maybe won't be as cool cool and who knows what they're going to call him maybe milan red and milan blue or like we'll have to see what names they come up for ac milan and for inter but that's kind of the latest fc25 news from yesterday i do believe let's check our schedule here ea dropped a schedule for us in the game i don't know if you guys saw this or not um under the deep dive i think the next one august 2nd is the career mode deep dive and then the big one ultimate team on august 7th that's going to be the big, big set of news later on this next week on Wednesday. We're going to learn a lot about Ultimate Team then. So career mode on Friday. Sorry. Yes, career mode tomorrow. Wow. Today's August 1st. Happy August. Career mode tomorrow on a Friday. That's abnormal. I don't know why they would do that, but they are. And then on the next Wednesday, the 7th, we will have Ultimate Team. So big news coming there. Watch out for more leaks and more news. We'll be covering that, of course, as they come out and as we get more news. But as of right now, we're focused on a big SBC for footies. EA, drop it. All right. No more mistakes. No more comedic relief. Remember, FC24 is still going on. We can't, we're not moving on to FC25 just yet. And uh, take the training wheels off of FC24 right now. No more 95 rateds. No more 96 rateds. We want the 97s, the 98s, the high-rated bangers. That's what we want right now. So maybe today they give it to us. Probably not. I would expect that tomorrow. But we will be here to cover everything as it drops, guys. If you enjoyed today's video, drop a thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions. And, of course, subscribe if you're new. I will see you guys on the Twitch stream today. That link is down below in the description. I will see you guys there. It's been Nate the Foot Account, and have a great Thursday. Peace out.